What is the definition of a myth? A myth is an ancient story or set of stories explaining the history of a group of people or natural events and facts. What are mythological creatures? A mythological creature or a legendary creature is a supernatural animal, often a hybrid, sometimes part human, whose existence has not or cannot be proved and that is described in folklore. And let's take a look at some mythological creatures. There are so many to choose from and there are many lists online that you can search up to look at many different examples of these. Some include fairies, the unicorn, the hydra and even the grim reaper itself. So I'm going to start off this video here with the fairy outfit that I made. Now I went with four different mythical creatures for this video. I went with the fairy, a gnome, I also went with a phoenix and I also went with a dragon. So this first outfit here, I have the little pictures in the corner um, that was recommended to me by um, a user in the comments uh, quite a while back now but yeah I went with like a purple nature fairy look here and I really liked how it turned out and yeah um, I love the the color purple and the green together and um, I think it looks really nice and yeah I wanted to go with a different sort of different items that I don't usually go with um, because you all know I like to go with the dolly heels and that um, cheap skirt that I never remember the name of <laughs> but it's like floor length um, and I just won the bow, that hair bow from the wheel um, I got super excited about that but yeah I went with a uh, the free flower that you get from Sunset Island for this look and it kind of works out cheap if you don't go with the sandals you can really go with any kind of heel you want to go with here but yeah, it's kind of a cheap outfit, this one, in my opinion. You can go with any wings you want, really. Um, and yeah, I really like how this look turned out. Okay, the next one is a gnome outfit. And I thought, this one's a bit different, so I'm gonna, you know, try this out. Um, because, you know, I could have just gone for fairy, mermaid, <laughs> unicorn um, for this video. But I wanted to go with some different kind of things, too, because this theme is kind of open-ended. There are so many different mythological creatures that you can pick from, uh, not just those three that I mentioned, so I decided to go for gnome. And I went with like dungarees, the ones that Ansu made, um, the blue ones with like the black t-shirt, I think it is. Yeah, and I really like this one too. I kind of wish there was a different hat, because there isn't really like a cone hat in the game that we have, not that I know of. Um, so I went with the witch's hat. I think you can also use the Santa hat for this, but I didn't want to have like the little bubble on the end of it. <laughs> so I went with the witch's hat instead. And that was kind of the only disappointing thing about the outfit in my opinion. But if we got like a cone hat in the future, then it would be perfect for this. So yeah, um, and I, you know, if you don't have the Santa's beard from Christmas, then you can go with one of those hairs if you'd like, but I thought I'd go with the beard instead. And yeah, you see, I was like messing with different hats that I could try and use here, but I went with the beret, I think, in the end, and the witch's hat, um, which kind of like hide it you know, it kind of hides the bow a little bit and makes it more like a traditional gnome. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to shake this up a little bit and you want to keep the bow on the witch's hat for the gnome look, then by all means, go for it. <laughs> this is just um, me basing this pic off of the reference here. So yeah, I really liked how this one turned out too. Um, I think I could have made the beard, you know, like a more of a grey colour because I picked white for that and I <laughs> accidentally forgot about the face, changing the face there. And yeah, this is the final gnome outfit that I made here and I really liked this one. And next up is the phoenix, you see the picture up here in the corner there. <laughs> I really like having the picture reference in the corner to be fair. And um, I had a bit of trouble um, coming up with the outfit that I wanted to go for for this. Um, the skirts um, were giving me trouble. I didn't know um, if I wanted a bigger skirt or a short skirt, but I hadn't gone for a bigger skirt in this video. So, you know, you can change out um, whatever you want for these outfits, make it your own. You don't have to copy it exactly. I always say with these videos, it's up to your interpretation to the theme. I'm just giving a guide to ideas that you could possibly go with. 
So yeah, I went with the ballroom entrances skirt in the end because I thought it looked really cool with the flame um, pattern on it and a candle and the nine tails with it and I thought wow that looks really cool I like the effect of that um because I was really struggling with like trying to keep the outfit not busy and I thought with the crown that I have on it kind of looks a bit busy so here I am and I removed it and I thought yeah that looks a lot better <laughs> and this last outfit here of course is a dragon outfit as I mentioned before and the dragon outfit is actually green <laughs> but I was looking at like using blue but it kind of wasn't working out um the patterns and the the outfit weren't matching as I'd like them to so yeah I ended up going with a green so the little green dragon in the top right <laughs> is kind of accurate in a little kind of strange way but yeah I used that as a reference for the outfit that I made in the end which you'll see later on of course but yeah I was just messing with like the blues here and I wanted to use the Aries horns again because like that centerpiece that it has and um, that kind of goes over the forehead there I thought that's really dragon like that's really like reptilian so I thought I would you know use those in some way and having the dragon scales pattern on there it works perfectly I just wish there were like wings that you know um, match this outfit a bit more but I ended up using the Halloween sort of um, dragon wings what the, that are like bones um, so yeah that's what I um, ended up going with and you'll see that um, in a second I also changed the skin color to like a light green so it kind of has um, a bit of a contrast between the two colors um, but also made it green you know because we are a dragon <laughs> And yeah, here's me messing with different wings. I couldn't, you know, find one that I wanted to go with. The green wings in the game aren't really feathery or scaly in that kind of way, so it wasn't working. So I went with those demise wings. I think that's what they're called. I think I just remembered what they were called. But yeah, um, I kind of liked how this one turned out. It wasn't my favourite. I feel like I could have done a bit better. But, you know, that top half with the Aries horns and the hair and... Um, the, the scale pattern on it I think that worked perfectly it was just like um, I think I could have had a better chance with different wings and a different outfit maybe but yeah I still really like this one thank you all so much for watching uh, the mythical creatures theme I think is pretty easy if you just get some references off Google um, you know you should be okay like Royal High is you know based off of mythical creatures fairies mermaids unicorns things like that so it's pretty pretty uh, easy theme to do and you can also get really creative with it too because there are things like uh, the Phoenix that I showed off or like demons or things like the hydras so yeah you can get really creative or if you you know want to go for something more familiar you can go for fairies or mermaids or something like that so yeah that is pretty much it for this episode i know i said this last time but i should be uploading more often next week you know just um i got an illness and you know a bunch of things happened <laughs> in real life that it just kind of drained me this week so it's kind of set me back a little bit but I do have a video coming out tomorrow which is a bit of a surprise um, <laughs> and I hope you're gonna enjoy that um, you may um, get a hint if you watch some other Royal High youtubers you may get a hint for what that video might be so yeah stick around for that video and I will be uploading that tomorrow and of course I'm gonna be still working on that Animal Crossing video don't worry I haven't forgotten it will be coming I promise you it will be coming out I just have been taking my time and just want it to be the best it can be and you know work on some stuff with that so yeah I have put a lot of time and effort into that project so I just want it to be um, the best as I can get it so it will be coming I promise <laughs> um, I'm gonna be working on that um, this week and next week I, I you know I will I want to upload it in October also make sure you vote in the poll in the top right corner it is an I 
in a circle and they are all Halloween and spooky themed. Now these are pageant themes like the sunset pageant theme videos that I do. Those are for the month of October um, because I want to do the Halloween themes for that month so I think it's haunted and some other ideas for pageant themes too. So make sure you vote for which ones you'd like to see during October. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here and say thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like. Follow me on Twitter, which is at Bamitz Doodles. Also, you can follow my Roblox profile at Bamitz Limey. So if you'd like to do any of those things, please do. So yeah, see you all in the next video, which is tomorrow. Goodbye.